this web tutorial, we're going to discuss some of the things you're going to see in the Word Module 1 projects. So the first, one of the first things it's going to ask you to do is to go ahead and change the th color theme. So if you go to the Design tab up here at the top and go to Colors, um, you have a whole plethora of options that you can choose from. Uh, we'll go ahead and click yellow for this one. You don't see any changes on the screen, but as you add uh, different um, settings and styles, the, the colors will be affected based upon the selection that you just made. Something else that you're going to see on this project is the before and after spacing on a line. Now, you'll want to select the text that this is going to affect. Then you're going to want to go to the layout. And on the layout, you have the spacing section over here. And it might tell you to do 12 and to do 16. Now, notice that when I clicked on these um, up and down arrows, that it went to 18. You just can click in here and type in 16 and click Enter if you need to. But that will change the before and after spacing. Something else you might see is to change the uh, the case and that's easy to do on your home tab you have this you have a capital a lowercase a it's the change case function and you have a lot of options here um, you can do sentence case if it's all um, uh, selected it'll capitalize just the first sentence first word of the sentence and then you have all lowercase uppercase capitalize each word and then the toggle case for this we'll go ahead and just do uppercase notice that everything in this line is now in capital letters the font size, something else you're going to see, that all of your font settings are right here. Um, you can change the, the font to something else like Arial Black. We could change the size. You can click, actually click this, or you can just click the up and down here, and it will change the size. Some other things you'll see in here is the bold, which you can't see because of the font we've selected. Let's click off of this and do this one. Notice it makes it bold, italics. You can underline the text. You can change the font color over here. Uh, by default, it's automatic, but if you wanted one of these oranges or green, you could do that from here. Something else that you'll see often is you have left align, which is default. You have center, right, and justified. You could use any or all of those settings. Another thing you're going to run into is outline or um, glow, sometimes shadow. All of that can be found here in this section, the text effect and typography. And you just click down and it'll tell you what color. You'll just want to look around in here. And if you're not sure, well, Microsoft Office is great if you hover over a color or a setting, if you leave your cursor there long enough, it will pop up with what that is called. So if it said red accent 5, lighter 40%, you would know this is it. But if it said 60%, you would say, oh, okay, that's not it. And then something else you're going to see is shading. We'll go ahead and select this line. And it's this little paint bucket over here for shading. And again, you'll just want to select the color that it tells you to do. Let's go ahead and make a bulleted list. Um, we have this question, what can you drop off? We're going to go ahead and select all of these items here. And then you're going to click this bulleted list right here. And notice that it, it puts it into this list. You could do numbers here. It would change it. And then another thing to note is if it said to use like this checkbox or check mark, you could click there or this diamond. Um, if it's customized, click the little drop down. Same thing with the numbers. You have a lot of different options here. Let's go ahead and insert a photo. Now, um, the great thing about Microsoft and these tabs up here is they're, um, if you're not sure, if you read these, you can often figure out where you should be. So we need to be in the insert tab because we're going to go ahead and insert a photo. Let's go ahead and insert this photo. And notice that because of where I dropped it, it um, it put it in this shading that we did earlier. So that was one of my notes on this, is that if you hit enter at the return line here, it's going to carry that shading. You're going to want to click down here 
Um, if it tells you the next line, just double click. It will put the cursor there. We're going to click insert photo. And we're going to go ahead and insert this photo again. Notice that there's no shading on this. And some of the things that you're going to see on this is um, we're going to change the shot, the size. Now, let me know, anytime you select a photo, smart art, um, a table, you're going to get a special tab at the top for that. Notice that this disappears when I click off of it. We'll click it again. And that is going to give you special settings just for this photo. So one of the things that we're going to do is change the size. Let's go ahead and change the height of this to 2. And something else you could do is a picture style. And you have your picture styles here. Um, maybe we want to do this one, the reflective uh, perspective right. And if it tells you to do something you're not sure, again, hover, because it will tell you exactly what that setting is. Uh, you might add a glow effect, which would be the picture effects over here. Glow, and it'll tell you, I don't know, glow eight point red, accent five. Um, and then, the, again, if you're not sure, just dig in here. You can find a lot in these settings here. One of the steps that it's going to ask you to do is to um, center align the entire page. Now, that's different from centering this text. So if I highlight this and click center, notice that it pushes it to the center. But one of the things it's going to ask you is to do a center page alignment. And that's different. So for this step, you're going to want to go to the Layout tab. And on the Layout tab, we're going to go to the Page Setup dialog box, which is this button right here. From here, we're going to click Layout. And then we're going to go to the page section, which is right here. And right now it has the vertical alignment at top, but we're going to want to click center. And notice how it just pushes down the page just a little bit. Everything is lined up by the center. Let's go ahead and add a page border to this. Um, we're going to go back to the design tab. We're going to click page border. And you have a lot of settings in here. On the projects, I believe it lets you choose whichever border you want. But we'll go ahead and click box for this one. It's going to have you add a color to it, so whatever color it tells you to, go ahead and select. And then you have the width here, and it might tell you, I don't know, three point. So let's go ahead and add that, that three point. We're going to click OK. And notice that it adds the page border to the entire project.